Okay, so let's start class. Uh, dear students, good evening. Myself, uh, Dr. Gajula Prabhakar, I'm a counselor. Uh, so in the previous days, we done in the offline classes. In the offline classes, we done the bacteria classes, right? So what is the difference between the bacteria viruses? Before that, uh, today we are going to discussing the viruses. So, what is the difference between the virus and bacteria? Bacteria. Anyone? Yes, unmute yourself. Yes, my uh, voice is audible. Please respond, anyone? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. What is the difference between the virus and bacteria? What is bacteria? Just you recollect the previous class, then we will uh, go for the viruses. Yes, what is the bacteria? Yes, anyone? Bacteria are unicellular prokaryotes. And okay. virus is the connecting link between living and non living. What is the exactly that I told you of Yes, anyone? Sir, so actually, virus is an obligate and uh, intracellular parasite, like a cellular one. And yes. when it comes to the bacteria, yes. it might be somewhat the uh, material composition of some organisms, sir. Yes. Sir, viruses are mostly uh, made up of RNA, ribose, nucleic acids. Genetic material and also protein cap. So bacteria contain all the component for making energy. Viruses are non living collections of molecules that need a host so, to survive. Okay, okay. So, turn to the bacteria. What is bacteria? Is a very small and microscopic unicellular and prokaryotic organisms. These are the bacteria. The study of bacteria, what we call study of bacteria. Bacteriology. Okay. Bacteriology. First, yes. Who is first? The term of bacteria is so uh, the Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek animals, he called them animal cules, right? Just you recollect already bacteria class is over. The term bacteria was first used by Herrenberg in 1838. These are the 
uh, this is also uh, different size of bacteria. What is the uh, smallest bacteria? Already done in uh, offline class. Smallest bacteria. Sir, I think Kyo Margarita bacteria? something. Not something uh, you say. Already class is done now. Huh? You attend the class? No, sir. Sir, mycoplasma is the. Yes, different uh, size size bacteria are there. One is the smallest bacteria is Pachurella, and the biggest uh, biggest bacteria is the Bagiota. The different uh, shapes of bacteria are there. That is uh, Cocos. Cocos is spherical bacteria called Cocci bacteria. These Cocos bacteria are also uh, differentiated in the six types: Monococcus, Diplococcus, Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, Tetracoccus. And the final one is the sarsina. And in the second major group is the bacillus. The rod shaped bacteria called as bacillus. Again, these bacillus bacteria are three types: monobacillus, diplobacillus, streptobacillus. And the th third major group of bacteria is spiral or helical bacteria. In these two types of bacteria, vibrio and spirulum. The vibrio is comma shaped bacteria called as vibrio, right? And corkscrew shaped bacteria are called spirulum, right? And these bacteria, <coughs> they change the surrounding environments, the shape and size depends upon the environment, surrounding the environment and responding the environments. The bacteria has two forms. What is this two forms? Fleomorphic and yes, anyone? Fleomorphic bacteria. It is in the life cycle change in the, the shape of the bacteria. For example, is acetobacterium and rhizobacterium. And coming to the uh, Ultra structure of bacteria. You know what are the uh, main steps already we discussed? Ultra structure of bacteria. The first one is the, the bacterial ultra bacterial cell shows cell wall, cytoplasmic membrane, cytoplasm, nuclear material, and flagella and pili, mesosomes, volatile granules periplasmic materials, right? These are the uh, components of materials and the cytoplasm, it is the mixture of, a complex mixture of the, like carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, peptides, purines, pyrimidines, vitamins, coenzymes. These are the mix of the cytoplasm. And also it is cytoplasm contain the reserve food material, nuclear material. The, what is the nuclear material of the bacteria? DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Next one is the plasmids. What is the plasmids? In the bacteria, extra chromosomal segments of DNA are present in the cytoplasm. These segments are called plasmids and ribosomes. You know ribosomes? The ribosomes are the sites of the protein synthesis in bacterial cell. It is a eukaryotic cell. It is two types of uh, ribosomes present, 50s and 30s. And flagella also the how it is look like the flagella is thin hair like appendages. These divide it is okay. These are the uh, of bacteria. Then nutrition of bacteria. You know nutrition of bacteria. These two types of may uh, two types of the major nutrition in the bacteria. The first one is the autotrophic bacteria. Second one is heterotrophic bacteria. What is the meaning of autotrophs? Yes. Bacteria synthesize their own materials. 
it is called as autotrophic bacteria and what is the heterotrophic bacteria the heterotrophic bacteria, bacteria are, not are not able to synthesize their own food material the the food obtained from the either living organisms or then decaying organism association with the other living organism this type of bacteria called as the heterotrophic bacteria the autotrophic bacteria again uh, divided in the two types photosynthetic bacteria like photo photo means light okay the source of the uh, the organisms the it is uh, like for example green plants how gl uh, green plants is uh, they uh, prepare their own food food material what is the photosynthesis yes carbon dioxide uh, and the water are utilized by green plants in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and they produce a glucose and along with that yes. they release yes. oxygen sunlight and water, water and sunlight yes yes by so, using air the sunlight chlorophyll the plants okay. can prepare food material as a glucose yes heterotrophic bacteria again these also in two types photo heterotrophs chemo heterotrophs the chemo heterotrophs means these bacteria derive uh, derived from the carbon and energy from the organic from uh, organic from uh, compounds these are the two types they are depend on organic beings by because this is in the host so called pathogenic bacteria the human disease the example is the human disease typhoid tuberculosis pneumonia uh, plague these are the human being uh, diseases in plants what are the examples of plants cabbage rot wilt of tomato canker canker diseases and fire blight of beans and the next one is the saprophytes you know saprophytes the bacteria obtaining their food from dead and organic decay. matter okay. yes these type of bacteria called as saprophytes example is the bacillus next symbionts the symbionts means the bacteria lives in association with the plants or animals in this both the organisms are benefited for example the rhizobium living in the root nodules of the leguminous plants what are the role of these bacteria fix the they nitrogen. fix the atmospheric nitrogen Nitro uh, yes the the plants utilize directly nitrogen so the nitrogen into the combined from uh, combined forms like nitrogen compounds like ammonia you so the legume plants absorb the combined nitrogen these are the uh, we are basically in the uh, in the legumes plants which plants in leguminosity arachis ipogea these all the leguminosity plants and the farming of root nodules the root nodes are to be discussed in the more for in the class uh, these are the regarding uh, nutrition uh, and reproduction in bacteria what are the uh, main reproduction in bacteria the reprodu uh, bacteria reproduce by the asexual and sexual methods the asexual reproduction is a common reproduction in the bacteria it takes place by the binary fusion endospores cysts and mixospores buds and conidia in this the asexual reproduction it is the main point in the binary fusion okay and sexual reproduction the sexual reproduction also is the three type, uh, three types of sexual reproduction it is uh, the sexual reproduction in bacteria is called as genetic recombination the first one is the transformation and second one is the conjugation and third one is the transduction okay you know transformation okay the small segment of nac dna from donor cell to the recipient cell through the medium which they are growing is now known as the transformation the transformation observed by the the scientist is griffith is working in the streptococcus pneumonia he taken the some uh, five 
batches of the mice they are uh, conducted the experiments these experiments in already i explain explained in the class uh, offline classes the conjugation the conjugation also it is what happening in the bacterial reproduction there is no sexual there is no true sexual reproduction right what happening the exchange of genetic material the exchange of genetic material so that's why there is no true sexual reproduction in the bacteria only the genetic material exchange of genetic material through the medium like the conjugation is there the formation of conjugation to or the cell to cell attach when cell to cell attach the genetic material one bacterium cell to another bacterium cell that the genetic material transfer to one bacterium cell to another bacterium cell this is the transformation of genetic material or exchange of genetic material it is sexual reproduction of bacteria right already some uh, i gave the some economic importance of the bacteria it is also very important question already i gave the some uh, subheadings to prepare the notes okay so some antibiotics uh, produced by bacteria some chemical produced by bacteria okay what are the role of uh, bacteria in biotechnology what are the role of bacteria in genetic engineering what are the role of bacteria as a pesticide what are the role of bacteria in agriculture what are the bacteria used in the industrial uses what are the bacteria decomposition okay uh, and also economic important as well as some harmful acts of the bacteria spoilage of the food material botulism in the different plants reduction of the soil fertility and some some of the animal disease some of the human disease some of the uh, some of the plant disease caused by the bacteria okay so these are the uh, regarding about the bacteria next coming to viruses yes what is the virus you know bacteria what is the virus already one person uh, <clears throat> told uh, virus is a living virus when it is outside it is acting like a live no living when it is even it enters into our body it replicates sir uh, So it's an actually obligate intracellular parasite. Yes, obligate parasite. It is also ultra microscopic acellular. It is mostly parasites. So here, the study of viruses called as virology, right? Yes. The study of microorganism, what we called microbiology. Microbiology. the study of bacteria called as bacteriology study of viruses is virology known as virology. virology viruses the acellular ultra, uh, ultra microscopic obligate parasites these what uh, these latin word virus means venom or poisonous or fluid <laughs> some of the <coughs> in this the viruses many scientists worked on the the contribution of the viruses we will uh, discuss in the lot of things are attributed in the who is some in my display who is, uh, something writing in the whiteboard please don't do that yes someone uh, the, they are using whiteboard some writing on my slide please don't do that so firstly we discuss in the the some of the scientists who who are contributed in the virology who are contributed so you know we Sir, your voice is not clear, sir. Yes, it is okay. Now okay. 
Okay, sir. Okay. So, what is the contribution? Any idea? All of no Louis Patcher. Louis Patcher. What is the contribution of his yes, viral yes, microcode? Micro yes, some other pants. Yes, tell me. Pasteurization. Okay, right. Good. So the Louis Patcher is the lot of contribution in the virology. He has developed the the pasteurization many works, but uh, he is also developed a vaccines vaccine for the rabies, right? And after that, that, yes, yes, many many contributions are there. And Ivanovsky in the 1892 he demonstrated the it is responsible casing the mosaic disease of tobacco. You know tobacco, most of the, now there is no uh, curing, proper curing method in tobacco. The disease name is mosaic disease of tobacco. This mosaic virus, it is affected in the, most of the Solanaceae family group members. The Solanaceae, it is, the tobacco also is uh, under Solanaceae, but in other crops also, when uh, when attacked these mosaic diseases, I think the 90% of the, the any crop or any vegetable crop, it is damaged. So there is no uh, recover. So after that, the scientist name is Stanley. The also very good contribution in the virology. He tried the virus disease on the plant. He got a Nobel Prize in the 1946. Stanley, 1935, he discovered is the what he contribution is crystallized the viruses. The virus, mosaic virus, it is affected in the tobacco plant. He is first time, he is first time observed and made of the nucleic acid and protein from the tobacco plant. So, he is uh, got a Nobel Prize in 1946. <clears throat> and Edward Jenner, in the 1978, he's developed a vaccine for the smallpox, you know, small smallpox uh, disease. And another scientist, F.C. Ross, in the 1966, it is developed a cancer viruses. And also, Gallo and Montigner in the 1984, and the problem is is uh, my network and other things is okay so now okay yes yes now okay yes So uh, these are the some scient uh, scientists are contributed in lot of contributed in the uh, virology and microbiology. Next, coming to classification of the viruses. Uh, before going to classification of viruses, the characters of viruses. What are the characters of viruses? Already I discussed in the previous slide. Previous slide. Viruses are a simple cellular and submicroscopic entities consisting either DNA or RNA enclosed in a coat of protein and able to the reproduce. So in generally the bacteria genetic material is only DNA, right? But here the viruses genetic material is 
DNA and RNA, it is enclosed by the coat of protein and able to the reproduce, right? Yes. So, but here the viruses, when DNA present, the RNA is absent. RNA is present, DNA is absent. Both DNA and RNA is not at a time. Okay. It is the different times. Suppose, but some some of the some species, sometimes they are both present. I will tell you. Okay. Able to the reproduce the character is the character is it is a coat of proteins and able to the reproduce and they cannot be observed using the light microscope because there is no internal cellular structure and they contain DNA or RNA but not both they are incapable of metabolism the viruses are smaller than bacteria they are replicate only inside of the living cells either plant either animal either human beings they are replicate only inside the living cells the viruses lack of cellular organelles such as mitochondria and ribosomes but in bacteria present uh, it is well known it is present in the mitochondria and ribosomes ribosomes is the two types also present in the cytoplasm of bacteria but here lack of cellular organelles okay they contain either DNA or uh, RNA as a genetic material. They have different size and different shapes. They cause disease in plants, animals, and microorganisms also. And the stays borderline of the living and non-living. When it enters to the cells, how many times I told you who is writing the uh, whiteboard? Sir, you will be having an option to enable all these things. Only you can write on the board. Enable that one, sir. But, but in the middle of, I can't go to the, uh, again, uh, settings and these things, some disturbance, na? Who is you? Uh, 41 members are there. Please. Sir, how, how can I erase it? No, that is, uh, again, we'll go for the erase and something, something. But don't do that. But that button is not working, sir. I am uh, trying to many times. No, no, no. Some, some uh, writing these, uh, you know, in our slide, some red lines and blue lines, something. Please don't do that. Please don't disturb me. Okay. These viruses uh, stays. Where it is stay, the viruses is border line of the living and non-living organism. When it enters to the cells, then only it becomes a living organism. Otherwise, it stays in the non-living particles. And they can only seen under the electron microscope. Most viruses are tiny. They are only observable with the at least a conventional optical microscope because the bacteria the virus is smaller than the bacteria they can replicate only inside of the host and they are it is also called as obligate intercellular parasites obligate intercellular of the parasites these few major characters of the viruses. Next. The viruses in the two properties are there. One is living properties and non-living properties. How living properties, the, the viruses behave. Non-living properties of uh, when virus, it is uh, lives in the non-living non particles how they behaves so these 
living characters inside of the host and non living characters outside of the host the living properties obligate intercellular parasites the multiplication and protein and nucleic acids exhibit heredity and undergo mutations when the the virus it is inside of the host the living characters are these living characters are able obligate our intercellular parasites multiplication proteins and nucleic acids exhibit heredity and undergo mutation right and non living properties when the virus enter to the non living particle they behave the non living properties of viruses it is crystallized can be crystallized there is no cellular structure do not respire or show metabolic activities these are the main important of living characters inside of the host non living character outside of the host so next classification of the viruses <clears throat> the classification of viruses at present the international committee on taxonomy of viruses what are the classification of viruses according to the ictv what is stands for ictv international committee on taxonomy of viruses generally how what is the uh, how plants classification any idea what is the some ic dash dash what is the full form international code of botanical yes. nomenclature icbs international code of botanical nomenclature international code of botanical nomenclature okay what about uh, animals icjn international code of zoological animals okay nomenclature okay here the classification of viruses in the, according to the ictv regulates the ictv means international committee on taxonomy of viruses ictv it the ictv regulates the norms of the classification and nomenclature of the viruses just to wait uh... okay itv seen as only three uh, three levels are there one is the family it is uh, including the some sub families are there the genus and species okay family genus and species right so in plants in uh, some uh, classification is very big some order class sub class okay genus species but here only three levels the first one is the family genus and species the family names end with the suffix viridae the family names end with the the suffix it is viridae and the genus genus names with the virus and the species name are common in the english it is uh, expression describe their nature for example the virus are named after the disease they cause polio virus the ictv system the virus is acquired immune deficiency syndrome aids in human beings is classified as family retroviridae the genus is lentivirus species is human 
immune deficiency virus hiv okay these are the uh, ictv system how to use ictv system next uh, types of viruses in uh, bacteria also we observed some types of viruses according to the shape according to the size here the viruses generally the class uh, types of bacteria in the shape of uh, bacteria and size of bacteria the arrangements of cells uh, suppose monobacillus only single diplobacillus two cells attached and round shape these type of uh, uh, types of bacteria already we observed in the uh, types of bacteria this but the viruses <coughs> based on the host the virus can divide it into the six types first of all plant viruses the plant viruses it is also called as phytophages plant viruses are phytophages these type of virus mainly attack the plants what is the phytophages the virus attack to the plants right do you understand phyto phyto means plants are plant viruses next animal viruses what is the animal viruses these viruses attack the animals these virus attack to the animals it is called the animal viruses or zoophages zoophages next this one is a very important bacteriophages bacteriophages the viruses infect the bacteria are called bacteriophages okay generally what we call phytophages the virus attack to the plant zoo phases the virus attack the animals here bacteriophages the virus infect or attack the bacteria the virus attack the bacteria are called as bacteriophages right clear and mycophages myco what is the uh, mycology yes anywhere study of fungi study of fungi fungi so the virus attack or infect the fungi also that is called as mycophages and zymophages zymo the viruses infect the especially in the yeast cells you know yeast cells the virus that infect the yeast cells are known as zymophages right cyanophages you know cyanophages cyanobacteria this virus attack or infect the blue green algae members it is called as cyanophages right clear the first one is the plant viruses it is called as phytophages zoo phases bacteriophages the bacteriophage is the virus attack to the bacterium it is called as bacteriophages mycophages attack to the fungi it is called as mycophage so the virus infect the yeast cells is called as zymophages cyanophages the virus attack the blue green algae or cyanobacteria it is called as cyanophages these are the uh, different types of bacteria next coming to structure of viruses what is the structures the structure how it is the structure of viruses what is the structure of bacteria yes 
the ultra cell structure of bacteria it is the components of the bacteria cell it is surrounded by the capsule slime layer cell wall these are the structure of virus how the virus structure first of all in the size right generally virus particles are called virions virion virus particles are called why it is call, called as particles these virus very small small and smaller than the bacteria so it is called as particles virus particles are called virions the virions range in the size 10 to 100 nanometer in diameter the smallest viruses is bacteriophage it is f2 and the largest virus is vaccinia virus vaccinia virus these are the uh, the size ranges the virus range is the 10 to 100 nanometers in diameters next coming to shape of the viruses the shape of the virus it is morphology it is depends on the shape of the outer protein generally first what we discussed what is the virus generally the virus a cellular ultra microscopic obligate parasites and it is the outer layer is outer protein coat and it is reproducible okay it is the outer is protein coat generally uh, in the bacteria it is a outer layer is what what is there it is slime layer or right or slime layer okay in the virus it is the outer protein coat it is surrounded by the outer protein coat this outer protein coat called as the capsid only the protein coat viewed in the low power of electron microscope you know the microscopes some high power some low power the mid, uh, medium powers are there so when we will uh, see only the protein coat the outer protein coat in low power electron microscope right low, low power electron microscope uh, some of the examples are there i will uh, next slide i will uh, show the the shapes of viruses in this the back the viruses is the first one is the rod shaped virus example is pmv tobike mosaic virus and second one is the rectangular virus it is vaccinia virus it is the biggest virus and the third one is the polyhedral the example is adenovirus and fourth one is the spheroidal it is the polio virus and fifth one is the tadpole shaped virus example is bacteriophages some some of the bullet shaped virus are there bullet shaped the bullet shaped virus example is the rhabdo virus these are the six types of uh, different six types of viruses are there rod shaped rectangular polyhedral spheroidal tadpole shaped and bullet shaped viruses these are the uh, examples of uh, these are the images examples of images of uh, different types of viruses in the first one is the uh, tobacco mosaic virus it is the rod shaped bacteria and polyhedral is uh, adenovirus human adenovirus and tadpole shaped is a t2 uh, bacteriophage and some of the spherical shaped uh, it is 
polio virus human polio virus and adenovirus and the first one is the uh, polyhedral shape it is the vaccinia virus these are the uh, diagrams of the different types of uh, viruses this rhabdovirus is the <coughs> the bullet shape of uh, viruses the example is the rhabdoviruses and next one is the the symmetry symmetry of uh, viruses the symmetry of viruses depends upon the mode of arrangement how virus of virus structure is arrangement the arrangement of this virus it is capsomeres in the capsid what is the capsomere and capsid we will discuss in the bacteriophage structure and in this the basic two types of uh, symmet symmetries are uh, the construction of uh, virions virions means small particles of virus called as virions in this the two basic symmetries are there first one is the helical and second one is the cubic the virus structures uh, compulsory made of these symmetries helical symmetries and cubic symmet uh, cubic symmetries the first one is helical symmetry <clears throat> in this the uh, capsomeres are arranged in the spirally or helically around the pore of the nucleic acid example is the tobacco mosaic virus how the nucleic acid arrange how spirally or how helically arranged we will discuss in the uh, structure of tmb and second one is the cuboid or cubic symmetry in this type of capsid is polyhedral in shape and the capsomeres arranged in the icosahedron symmetry in icosahedron each equatorial equatorial triangle it shows 20 faces for example adenovirus in t even bacteriophages generally the bacteriophages in the even numbers like t2 t4 t6 t8 t10 t12 t14 uh, like this the bacteriophages in the many types are there these bacteriophages always in the t even numbers even numbers means t2 bacteriophage t4 bacteriophage t6 bacteriophage like this so the head shows cubic symmetry the tail shows helical symmetry what are the head part what are the uh, tail part we will discuss in the structure of bacteriophage in it is known to exhibit the binal symmetry so uh, these are the uh, some cubic or isohedral symmetry of uh, viruses the structures are there the virus how viruses are uh, there any viruses seen how the covid <coughs> corona corona virus also any virus follow these two uh, types of symmetries helical and cubic symmetries next chemical structure of viruses chemical structure of viruses uh, some important points are i given in this slide the virus consists of an outer protein coat and it is the protein coat is enclosed these viruses consist of outer protein coat and enclosed by the nucleic acid these are the chemical structure of general general chemical structure of viruses the protein coat of virus is called capsid you remember this uh, some basic terminology i will tell you compulsory you uh, in practical exam in theory exams these are the some important points to easily identify what is the capsid what is the capsomere like these words compulsory you learn the protein coat of virus is called capsid the virus are called nucleoproteins since they are made up of the protein and nucleic acids and the what we called in the virus particles called as virions and the protein coat 
the protein coat is called as capsid okay the viral uh, are called also nucleoproteins since they are made up of the protein and nucleic acids so it is called as nucleoproteins the protein capsid protect the viral genetic material the viral genetic materials either dna either rna the structural subunits that form capsids are called capsomeres or protomeres the structural subunits generally the protein capsid protect the viral genetic material and the structural subunits that forms capsid are called capsomeres or protomeres and this characteristically the capacity only one type of nucleic acid already i told you either dna or either rna so most of the animal virus example is influenza virus passes an outer envelope enclose the nucleic acid it is made up of the lipids proteins and carbohydrate it is called peplos and its sub units peplomers okay the most of the animal virus for example influenza virus it consists outer envelope it is enclosed the nucleocapsid it is made up of lipids proteins carbohydrates it is called as peplos and the sub units called as peplomers in plant viruses the most of the plant viruses contains rna as a genetic material yes most of the plant viruses so already we discussed different types of the viruses like bacteriophages phytophages gymophages zoophages these are the different viruses total six types of uh, six types of viruses are there so in this plant viruses plant viruses means phytophages the virus infect the plants that is called plant phytophages or plant viruses the most of the plant viruses contain rna as a genetic material but in viruses like influenza virus and polio virus the genetic material is rna the plant viruses like cauliflower mosaic virus and dahlia mosaic virus contain dna the genetic material generally uh, the rna is the genetic material of the plant viruses the plant virus contain in the rna but some cauliflower mosaic virus dahlia mosaic virus contain dna as a genetic material clear the nucleic acids may be circular or linear and both the nucleic acids the nucleic acids nothing but dna and rna these nucleic acid is a double stranded and single stranded dnas are found in the many virus some some of the virus it is uh, contains double stranded dna and some viruses contains single stranded dnas in uh, according to the depends on the virus similarly the viruses with single stranded rna and double strand double stranded rna are also present okay these are the some chemical structure of viruses next some uh, these are the some important uh, viriads and prions the frequently are used in the uh, virology viroids they are some virus which possess only the nucleic acid without protein coat such virus are known as viroids example is potato spindle tuber virus or citrus exocotosis virus viroids what we called virus generally the virus possess nucleic acid with protein coat general viruses but some viruses here some viruses only nucleic acid without protein coat such type of virus are called as viroids the example is potato spindle tuber virus 
and citrus exocarotosis virus and prions there are some infectious agents which possess only protein but not nucleic acid such agents are called as prions okay it is opposite opposite of virides so virides passes only nucleic acid without protein coat here some infectious agents which passes only protein but not nucleic acid these type of virus are called prions the example is scrapie disease of sheep mad cow disease of cow okay these are the uh, virides and prions next coming to structure of tobacco mosaic virus these are the very very important in short answer pmv and bacteriophage also very very important so uh, we'll discuss structure of tobacco mosaic virus so tobacco mosaic virus was first virus to be crystallized by the uh, the name is some spelling mistake stanley in the 1935 and is also got nobel prize and franklin his co-workers in the 1950 uh, 1957 described the structure of tmb the stanley is crystallized which plant tobacco plant what is the scientific name of tobacco yes yes anyone what is the uh, scientific name of nicotiana tobacco nicotiana tobacco it it belongs to the family solanaceae 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 family what are the uh, some alkaloids present in the this plant some drugs nicotine yes nicotine okay it is a narcotic drug right yes. so first of all in this plants identify and crystallized by the the scientist name is stanley in stanley. 1935 and the structure the described of the structure franklin and his co-workers so why it is used in the et al et al means you know et al et al it why used in the et al more than two authors more than two authors then we will go for the et al otherwise in the two members franklin and stanley are one member franklin in 1957 a two members franklin and stanley is two members more than two authors how many 3 4 5 6 1000 2000 1 lakh et al simply in the science in the research purpose it is used in the et al means more than two authors right more than two authors we are using the et al the franklin is co-work co-workers described the structure of tobacco mosaic virus what are the importance of this exam it is definitely question in your exams in a short answer it is a rod shaped virus it is about 300 nanometer long and 18 or 19 nanometer in diameter with a with the molecular weight of 39 into 106 daltons this is the first point it is a rod shaped virus it is about 300 nanometers long and 18 or 19 nanometer diameter the molecular weight is 39 into 106 daltons the capsids you know capsid you see the right sides like some uh, how the shape is like banana type some that is capsid the capsids made up of 
2130 protein sub units of this is the, the capsid made up of the 2113 protein sub units and they are called capsomeres okay 2113 protein sub units they are called capsomeres the protein sub units are arranged in a helical manner around a central hole the central hole is 4 nanometer it is the 4 nanometer is converted to the angstroms 40 angstroms the protein sub units are arranged in a you see the some in the red point so this one i enlarged in the <coughs> so each protein sub on it made up of the single polypeptide chain which passes 158 amino acids the protein sub units are arranged in a helical manner at a central hole it is 4 nanometers in the angstrom 40 angstroms each pro each protein sub unit it made up of a single polypeptide chain which consists 158 amino acids and next <clears throat> inside the protein capsid there are is a single stranded rna molecule which is also spirally coiled form spirally coiled to form a helix the tmv rna consists 6500 nucleotides the inside of the protein capsid there is a single stranded rna molecule which is also spirally coiled to form helix the tmv rna consists 6500 nucleotides so here you see the this uh, diagram tmv transmitted through the cell shaft of the host and enters a new host through un incision and it is also transmitted by the wind water vectors and mechanical means through the rubbing of the uh, transplanting and handling damage the uh, the bark so damage the leaf so it is transmitted the mostly in wind water vectors the mechanical the mechanical means when we will uh, touch the rubbing the plant and disturbing the some uh, uh, bark it is entered to the host so these are the uh, some main important uh, structure of the tmv it is in this two standish first one is uh, uh, stanley it is crystallized he got nobel prize and described the franklin is coworkers and it is a rod shaped and it is 300 nanometer long and 18 or 19 diameters the molecular weight is the 13 39 and uh, into 106 daltons these capsids are uh, made up of 2130 proteins and it is also called as capsomeres these uh, protein sub units arranged in a, a helical manner around the central hole it is a 4 nanometers it is converted to the 40 angstroms the each pro, uh, protein sub unit is made up of the single polypeptide chain it is consist of 158 amino acids the inside the protein capsid inside the protein capsid there is a single stranded rna molecule which is also spirally coiled to form the helix the tmv rna consists 6500 nucleotides how tmv uh, transmitted in the plants in the animals in the human beings the mostly the tmv is transmitted through the cell shaft of host enters the new host 
through the wound incision it is also transmitted by the wind water vectors and mechanical so mechanical means we are some damaging the bark we are damaging the bee so that time the virus enter to the plants or animal or human beings and as well as water vectors wind also these are the uh, structure of tobacco mosaic virus next structure of bacteriophage what is the bacteriophage virus which affects bacteria yes. virus which attack bacteria okay so this is the bacteriophage right this is the image of uh, bacteriophage so uh, the struck the bacteriophage uh, the called as the virus infect the the virus attack the bacteria called as bacteriophage right yes the virus which attacks the bacteria are called bacteriophages the bacteriophage discovered by twart in 1915 and after that after twart felix t herley is the scientist name in the 1970 uh, 1917 he studied in detail of structure of bacteriophage so uh, most of the bacteriophages what are the sh uh, shape of bacteria bacteriophages already i told you in the different uh, types of uh, viruses tadpole tadpole shape the bacteriophage tadpole with large head and tail you observe in the upper part is the head in the lower part is the tail Same. you observe you observe the diagram okay generally the tadpole these uh, bacteriophage are the shape is the so tmv is a rod shape so here the bacteria face the tadpole shape with large head and tail the tadpole shape viruses structure is t even phages right already i told you t even phages means always the bacteria phages t2 like t4 like uh, t6 t8 t10 12 14 even numbers only okay and these also very very important the bacteriophage structure and tmv uh, tmv structure very very important okay the tadpole shaped face it is uh, generally uh, in short cut we called capital t tadpole shaped face it is uh, uh, what indicates it capital t it cons consists two parts one is the head part another one is the tail, tail. part okay the head measures approximately 65 into 95 micrometers 65 into 95 micrometers when in the cross section of bacterial phase it is hexagonal hexa means yes six 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 hexa six hexa six when a cross section generally the head measures approximately 65 to 95 micrometers when taken a cross section of bacterial phase it is hexagonal and is capped by the hexagonal pyramid like you see the diagram how pyramid like hexagonal pyramid the upper part in the head part is the hexagonal pyramid you know uh, pyramid shape yes sir. everyone yes, knows the uh, yes sir <coughs> hexagonal yes. pyramid and the head is formed from the large number of here the bacteria phase also large number of capsomeres each of is a single protein about 80000 daltons of molecular weight 80000 daltons of molecular weight the head is formed from a large number of capsomeres and each of 
which is a single protein of about 80000 not 8000 80000 daltons of molecular weight the head protein forms a semi permeable membrane enclosing the folded double stranded dna the dna is about 1000 times longer than the face itself how many times 1000 times longer than the face and next coming to tail the tail is composed several parts of the situated around a central core the tail core is roughly 95 micrometer long and 80 micrometers in diameter it extend from the head of the face to the tail plate it is surrounding the core is the tail sheath composed about 200 subunits arranged helically or circularly at the tip of the tail there is a hexagonal base plate hexagonal base the plate at each corner of the base a spike like structures are there each corner of the base a spike you know spike spike like yes. structures are known as tail pin tail pin and a giant fiber called tail fiber are present generally the corner face of the base is spike like structures what we called tail pin and it is the pin is giant fiber called tail fiber are present totally how many pins six pins and six tail fibers are present you count in the right side three and the left side three total six pins six. and six tail fibers are present the fibers have two parts the proximal half fiber and the distal half fiber these are the two parts of the uh, fibers the tail fiber helps in the recognition of the specific receptor sites present on the cell surface in the bacterial cell wall what are the receptors present in the surface of the bacterial cell wall these tail fibers recognize the receptor sites present in the surface of the bacterial cell wall and these two are the very very important these are the some important uh, structures of tmv and bacterio bacterio phages right once again i repeat this uh, bacterio phage these also these two are very very important tmv virus and bacteria bacteriophage what is bacteriophage the virus attacks to the bacteria it called as bacteriophage who discovered bacteriophage toward toward 1915 and felix d herele in 1970 1917 he studied in detail of bacteria bacterial structure how the bacteria phase phases in the shape of the bacteria phase is tadpole shape tadpole shape the the tadpole shape with a large head and tail are present yes and these structures it is t even phases t even phases T two, T four, T six, T eight, etc. Okay. The tad tadpole shaped face. It is uh, look uh, the stands in shortcut the capital T like T one, T two, T four, T six. It is already we discussed in the two parts, two major parts. The main is the head, and the lower part is the tail. Upper part is the head, and lower part is the Tail. Mm. The head measures approximately 
protein. and this single protein about 80000 daltons of molecular weight and the head protein forms semi permeable membrane it is enclosing the folded double stranded dna the dna about 1000 times of the longer than the face <laughs> and coming to tail part the tail is composed of several parts situated around the central core the tail core is roughly 90 micrometers long and 8 micrometers in the diameter mm -hmm. it extend from the head of the face to the tail plate surrounding the core is the tail sheath the tail sheath it is composed about the 200 sub units arranged in the helically or circularly at the tip of the tail there is a hexagonal base plate hexagonal base plate are there this hexagonal base plate each corner of the base a spike like structures known as the spike like structures what we call tail pin tail pin tail pin tail pin then fibri called as the tail fibri the tail fibri how many total six, total six, six, six pins uh, tail pins and six tail fibers are present mm -hmm. the fibers have two parts one is the proximal of fibri and the distal of fibri these are the two important fibers are there the tail fibri helps what is the role of tail fibri it helps in the recognition of the specific receptor sites present on the cell surface of the bacteria okay so uh, these are the uh, diagrams so the first one is the capsid head head part is there the nucleic acid dna the dna is the double stranded uh, dna is there it is how hexagonal pyramid so and also some Uh, below the head part one part is there the part name is polar like uh, just you see the diagram yes sir polar and sheath, in the middle part is the sheath so in the yes. below the head plate actually so the head part only the uh, hexagonal hexagonal pyramid only base part In the rest of this below of this uh, hexagonal pyramid the entire part is the tail the tail is consists of the collar and sheath so the tail below the tail the attached one is the base plate are there the base base plates the end of the base plate one spike like structure are there the spike like structures called as what we called yes tail pins tail pins tail pins the tail pins is jointly arranged in the tail fibri okay so you both uh, the this one so these are the importance of uh, Okay. Uh, today, today class. So we will uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow not there. My paper is uh, today. Date is the fifth or sixth. Today date fifth. No, my again my class is the day after tomorrow, like uh, seventh. Seventh in the same time. So we will discuss in the next part of uh, uh, the viruses is the. reproduction the important is the what are the uh, any idea uh, 
in reproduction of viruses viruses called as replication of viruses no generally in uh, bacteria what we the reproduction of uh, bacteria it is called as uh, the uh, asexual and sexual reproduction here replication what is the meaning of replication replication multiply within the host cells the process of multiplication the multiplication within the host cell replication generally the replication virus takes place in the uh, two different ways <coughs> one is the lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle lysogenic cycle yes lytic lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle. and it uh, in the viruses chapter the replication of viruses is a long long question okay long question so back tmb and bacteriophage is the short answer and your theory exams and as well as the replication of viruses is the long answer long answer so here two parts sometimes uh, lytic cycle and lysogenic uh, sometimes lytic cycle as a short answer or lysogenic only lysogenic cycle as short answer so you prepare in this chapter compulsory tmb bacteriophage lytic and lysogenic cycles also and here one important definitely question the purification of the viruses purification of the viruses how isolate the viruses in the different sources like from plant source from uh, uh, from animal source and human being how to isolate how to crystallize how to purification of viruses also uh, definitely question these two are the long questions one is the replication of viruses it is a long long question and another one is the purification of viruses in the different processes are there ultra, uh, ultra purification and the so many methods are there that is also long, uh, long question in your theory exam right so uh, again uh, i give i give to one uh work to you this is diseases caused by the viruses any any idea just you search it your uh, books and everywhere some idea because you you must and should what are the bacterial diseases what are the virus diseases what are the virus what are the disease caused by the in plants and what are the transmission of viral diseases and how to control the viral diseases what are the solutions are available right now so any idea uh, generally common uh, control of viral diseases influenza virus uh, flu virus disease sir how to control uh like sanitizing hands uh, uh, stay away from the affected people and uh, uh, self hygiene any you, you know avoid some crowd of the, places crowded uh, that is okay some chemotherapy are there chemotherapy means like chemicals uh, any idea treatment treatment any, chemicals uh, any idea chemicals uh, how to control the these viral diseases Uh, any idea of transmission of viral diseases so, uh, transmission of through viral... or uh, they can enter host cell directly or indirectly sir so uh, okay we, we we are the botany students first of all we concentration on the how to enter to the how to transmit the virus in the plants so so actually it might be from the mechanical transmission or by the insect transmission sir Yes, that is also right. Mechanical transmission is veget through vegetative parts. So some seed tra uh, seed transmit uh, tra transmission through the pollen grains also, through the insects also, through the nematodes also, through the fungi also. Uh, some of the phenogamic parasites also. Some of the body fluids also. These are the important transmission of viral diseases. You know, body fluids. The animal virus uh, uh, transmitted through the body fluids. like uh, aids caused by the hiv is transmitted through the blood semen and fungi some of the fungi 
have been uh, uh, blood through blood through blood through saliva okay okay that, that is also that is also right the fungi some soil born viruses and also some uh, insects some of the pollen grains you know pollen grains yes yes some viruses through the pollen grains also and some tree seed transmission also sir my uh... yes my uh, mechanic mechanical transmission also like tmv potato virus transmitted to the sap of the infected plants so this type of mechanical transmission through the physical contact or agriculture implements and ends up the labor when we are uh, plucking the one flower or we are plucking the some twig or leaf then damage the plant then the virus already in uh, through the wind through the air so it is immediately so otherwise uh, some uh, our hands some uh, contains some virus also immediately through the sap so some of the vegetative uh, parts uh, parts also uh, like uh, potato sugar cane <laughs> vegetatively propagate plants you know potato how to grow prot- uh, potato directly cut the potato from the buds i cut the buds i yes so sugar cane sugar cane is stem banana and rose these plants are the transmitted through the uh, okay. parts through the stems cuttings transmitted and grafting also you know grafting method so some viral diseases through the grafting method also so uh, most of the disease caused by the uh, viruses commonly the terminology used in the chlorosis like bean clearing bean bending ring spots uh, dwarfing and stunting mal formation and uh, breaking of the flowers and necrosis these are the disease caused by the viruses okay so uh, the control of the sir mosaic pattern of leaves is... also included in that yes 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 mosaic pattern of leaves the the mosaic uh, mosaic it is the color change occurs in the isolated patches of the green lamina like when enter to the uh, how to say when entered the to- uh, to- tobacco mosaic virus the leaf is entirely like uh, mm, how to say it like emandra murchika potadi there is no uh, chlorophyll content okay that is the mosaic uh, virus sometimes the symptoms is the vein clearing you know veins veins which is turn to the yellow so uh, the remaining part also total green green but only wins yellow so some ring 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 spots the loss of the chlorophyll in the circular spots in mostly this disease is seen in the uh, tomato so these are the uh, virus uh, disease caused by the viruses transmission of viral diseases the control of viral disease we will discuss in the uh, next class okay uh, today class is very very important in the tmb virus and bacteriophage virus bacteriophage ne- next so class will... what about hiv virus sir no, uh, what about hiv virus means so in our uh, we will we will discuss uh, elaborately in the next class also when we will discuss in the purification of uh, uh, purification isolation of virus. the virus yes that class will cover the structure of because why i am not choosing the chavers everyone uh, school teachers everyone employees most of you are uh, aware of the structure and tmb uh, sorry hiv virus that's why why don't time waste everyone knows na the structure okay we will discuss hiv virus also that is uh, not a problem okay okay sir so next sir, class you, we... can you show me this bacteriophage uh, this um, display on this sir and bacteria bacteriophage pad pole uh, he, sorry head and tail i need that so notes after the compl- uh, completed my class i will 
i will share the group uh, which group you are, you are from uh, uh, like different uh, study centers or same centers same i am from jubilee it's like jubilee only sir yes jubilee jubilee all are the jubilee uh, edab html building centers right yes sir yes. Sir, can you provide video of this class? Yes, yes. but uh, many groups are formed. So some Vajag, Vajag groups are there. Vajag, yes, yes. Parangal. Yes, sir, we are from Vajag groups. Okay, okay. I will share all the groups. No problem. Okay, and sir. Those, thank you. Uh, what about what about the in Vajag and Tirupati Varangal batches? What about the off, offline classes done? Actually, uh, in uh, Jubilee's batch, HTML uh, <laughs> building the every sunday uh, we completed in the bacteria class what about others other centers completed bacteria classes hello hello sir what about others other centers uh, bacteria uh, classes completed our uh, jubilee centers what about other centers this chapter is uh, completed or not we have no idea sir what about offline class what about offline classes so how to because according to jubilee center uh, i am not going to again repeat uh, uh, bacteria class when we'll complete the syllabus then we will uh, come back to the first block uh, block 1 block 2 block 3 so you clarify that you done in offline classes in your center any chop any blocks or any units are completed or not this is a first class tell me so because uh, in jubilee centers the bacteria entire bacteria unit is completed what about others so whatever may be i continue the same way then when we'll finish the some Hello. Sir, we can't hear you. Okay, okay. Okay, I will uh, find out the Kumar sir, then let me know in the next class. Is any uh, previous, uh, like back to your classes, any pending classes, we will uh, discuss in the lastly. Okay, I will continue uh, after viruses, we will go for the algae. Right? Thank you. Okay.